Hey guys, we are going to talk about uh, Ulo V7 in this tutorial. Ulo V7 has been released in July 2022, and it is considered to be the most powerful, uh, most powerful object detector. Uh, for Ulo V7, uh, here it is the it is the official release for Ulo V7, um, and here it is the paper for Ulo V7 that has been. Uh, also provided with this uh, GitHub repository. And uh, here it is the uh, state of the art performance that the ULOV7 uh, makes on the on the MS Coco object detection dataset. And uh, and here are the release of the different models, uh, ULOV7, V7X, V7, W6, E6, D6, et cetera. And <coughs> So here it is the different pre-trained models that are available, ULO V7, PT, PTX, et cetera. And for, this is for installation and uh, for testing purpose. And here it is for the uh, training purpose. And um, you have to add, uh, get clone this repository. And here it is for the uh, ULO V7 on MS Coco dataset, but we will use the uh, we will uh, train it for the custom data set on, uh, on the Google Colab. And here it is also provided the single GPU training or multiple GPU training as well. And transfer learning is also available. You can also uh, use the transfer learning for training, uh, transfer learning uh, with ULO V7. And these are the things. So now we move to the <clears throat> Google Colab repository and we try to see that how, how it, it works. So I move to the Google Colab repository and, and I discuss it. Okay. So here it is uh, the Google Colab repository and uh, here is my drive and I have created a folder for traffic sign datasets. So first I, I created a dataset and I go into the traffic sign dataset. And previously I uploaded uh, as a zip file, I created the uh, traffic sign dataset on my, I downloaded a traffic sign dataset and uh, I put it in the in my in my computer, and then uh, I created a zip file for that and uploaded it on the uh, uploaded it on the uh, on my Google Drive. So here is my traffic sign dataset and how it look like it looks like. Uh, so we have the uh, training uh, training and the validation two folders and the training folder, it has the images uh, of the traffic signs. Similarly, there are the labels available for these images. And uh, this is the directory structure that, that is being followed. And similarly, I have the uh, validation data set and validation set set. There are the images in the validation data set. For example, these are the images in the validation data set and correspondingly, uh, these are, this is the image and correspondingly, there will be the label for this image. That, and this is the, and label is in the uh, Euro format like uh, class object two. So this is the bounding box uh, uh, in, in this data set, the, the coordinates of the bounding box. So this is the way that uh, data set is provided. So how it is, um, there are two data set for training set and validation set and in training set there are the images and there are the labels so cache is when we done then the cache is generated uh, and then there is the validation data set and there are the training and there are the uh, images in this data set and there are the labels in this data set so this is the way the directory structure works so uh, uh, i unzip the directory structure uh, unzip this folder, uh, upload it as a zip folder and then unzip it. Then I get clone the ULO v7 repository that is provided and it created a folder ULO v7 and then I get into this folder ULO v7 and I remove the zip files because I 
didn't need that zip file anymore. So I, re I removed that zip file. So <clears throat> um, after that, uh, 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 what I did is that uh, I installed the, uh, some, some files, some requirements uh, uh, that are provided in the Hula v7 uh, repository. This is the requirements.txt. So I used the pip install dash r requirements.txt. So when you will install first time, it will install like matplotlib, numpy, opencv, et cetera, scipy. But I have already, I have run this experiment many times. So it says that already satisfied. So it will install all these repositories, mandas, ipython, et cetera. So after that, I need the training bits. So I will need the, uh, I will I will download the, uh, using the wget uh, v 7 underscore training dot pt uh, the trained weights. So I have downloaded these trained weights and then I run the final training command uh, for this. But what I did is I made some changes in the uh, in the in the uh, yaml file. So I uh, because the data is provided in and uh, y dot yml file yml file yml file so i used uh, a custom training <clears throat> originally it is provided poco dot yml so but i am using custom data set so i used custom uh, uh, i used uh, custom underscore train dot yml so in this uh, file so when, when i when i open it so it was like this. Uh, when I it's going to be open. So by opening it, it will show some. I open it again. Just give me a few minutes. So actually, this file it contains the locations of the. Uh, training data set and that. So there was a little interruption. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, we were at. traffic sign data set. So in traffic sign data set uh, is, no, we were at Hula data set. So here there is the, the data that is being provided. Configuration for the data. Yeah, here it is the uh, custom underscore train dot yml. I open up this file and try to see that what this file is. So this file would contain the location of the training data set and the location of validation data set. The training data set is in train underscore science data set. So here it is training data set and here it is the validation data set. Training data set contains images and labels. Similarly, validation data set contains images and labels. So I have four classes as prohibitory traffic sign, dangerous traffic sign, mandatory, and others. So this is the configuration for this custom train channel. And similarly, I have to go into the configuration, uh, config training, and here I am using Hulo v 7yml Hulo v 7 Here I have also changed the number of classes to four. I have made these two changes. One, cha uh, uh, we have. I have to make the changes in custom train GML, and I have to make the changes in Hulo v 7 
JML. So because these two files are being used while training, so here it is the train.py number of workers is eight, zero device because I am using only one GPU. So <clears throat> batch size is eight and custom underscore train dot JML and the uh, image size is 640 by 640. Configuration file is config Eula v 7 dot JML, this one. And then pre obtained weights are being used. So weights are, I have downloaded these weights from here, Eula v 7 dot Eulo v7 underscore train dot pt and then uh, name as Eulo v7 custom. So these are the, and I am going to run it for 100 epochs. I have run it for 100 epochs. So, and you need to keep in mind that the runtime is uh, using the GPU and uh, RAM or high RAM because I have the Google Colab Pro. So I will use the, I have the option to use the uh, high RAM, GPU and high RAM and runtime is also good. So I run, I previously, I have run this code for the 100 epochs. You can see that starting from the, uh, so all this is the description uh, of the Sulo V7 data set. And uh, this is PyTorch implementation uh, after Sulo V4, 5, 6, 7, there was in the, uh, in the PyTorch uh, implementation. So there it is the training and testing and the number of, uh, here it will show the number of training images and the testing images as well. It will count, I guess, the number of training and testing images. Let me show you. Yeah, so train labels, the train labels. Yeah, I guess there are 60, 6, 63 uh, images and labels in the training data set and 78 found in the uh, validation data set. So this is the way that uh, it, it works. So, and I have run this experiment for uh, 100 epochs. So starting from the uh, image size 640, as we have put it there. Yeah. So starting from the epoch zero up to 99. So initially the PCN recall and average PCN is zero, and then it is gradually going to increase. PCN is 10 percent, and uh, is 7 percent, and recall is 17 percent, I guess. So, and it keeps on increasing. Epoch 99, uh, epoch 12 of 99, epoch 20 of 99, and similarly, it goes to the epoch number. <clears throat> Mm, one uh, 99 of 99 and here it is the uh, the confusion matrix or classification summary that we have the total 78 images in the in the uh, validation data set and uh, precision for uh, overall precision is 97 uh, percent and recall is 89.9 percent and precision for uh, prohibitory sign is 96 percent for uh, uh, Danger is 96% and mandatory is 95% and others is the, the precision is 100%. So this is the way it, it works. And the, the model is, and the pre, and the train model is saved at uh, run strain Eulo V7 and custom 14 and weights are best weights weight and the last weight both are, 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 are uh, stored. So what I will do is that I will now run it for uh, two books and, and I will see that how it works. So I will just, I'm go, just going to run it for the two books. So I have changed it number of books is equal to two. So I just run it here. Okay, I guess we are not in it. Let me... Okay.
So it's going to load and it will take some few minutes. <clears throat> So I, I pause the video over here for a few seconds and then when it will complete, then I will be back. So it is loading the model and describing it and saying that it will uh, be done for two epochs. So <clears throat> I guess we have the base size of uh, it and uh, we have uh, 640 images. Uh, so let me see yeah 663 images in the training and 678 in the in the in the test labels are provided so i will be back when this will complete uh, in a few minutes okay um, or if you want to see uh, you can you can stick to this video but i guess it's quite so remaining time is 49.50 seconds. So I'm going to pause the video. Here you can see that <clears throat> both epochs have completed, although in the first epoch, the accuracy was very low, about almost zero accuracy and recall. And then in the second epoch, it began to increase uh, because the data set is very small. So it's uh, it will take a uh, lot of a large number of epochs for a good training. So this was just for the understanding purpose. And uh, in the later uh, videos, or you can uh, run it by your own. So thank you very much. So thanks for watching. And uh, we will see uh, next time in some new code. Thank you.